Hey everyone, Melissa Evans here with Breakthrough to Beautiful. Hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing Tuesday. It is 9.50 here in Texas and I'm getting ready for a, my morning coaching call um, with one of my mentors and thought I would just come on live. I haven't been live in the group or done any hangouts in a while and I've been building my um, upcoming coaching course uh, storyboard to Breakthrough Brand, and um, I've been having some thoughts about story. And I titled this live, Why Your Story is Important, But Not for the Reasons That You Imagine. And also, What is Your Once Upon a Time? So I see I have a, a viewer here. I'm on my phone, so I can't see who's viewing. So if you're watching me live, drop into the comments, say hello. Uh, drop us a heart. Let us know where you're watching from. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. And I hope this content's going to be beneficial to you. Um, so when you're running a business online or connecting with your audience through social media, wh whether you are in a multi-level marketing company, which I know a lot of people that are, uh, or you're building a business online, you're a creative, a coach, or a writer, or someone who is connecting to an audience online, um, we either do one of two things often. We either lead with our product, and the product is is going out into a universe of that's saturated with other products, right? There's a whole bunch of different health products. There's a whole bunch of different um, coaching services out there that do different things, and they lead with what they do. And, you know, that's important for people to understand what you do, clearly, but it's not what's going to cut through, and it's why your story is important, but not for the reasons that you would think. Many people that are in the online space know they need to use online space, but they're not people that want to be on camera. And, and we can talk and later on about the importance of video, uh, which is something you need to get over if you're building an online business. But you don't have to lead with yourself. It, it's, not, it's not necessary to do that. But why your story is important is because your story helps you understand what you're called to do and who you're called to serve. So if I asked you once upon a time in your life, and you were to tell me a story of your life, you would choose some meaningful memory, some meaningful experience that shaped you. But that one story is not the whole story of your life. Because if you asked your father, who you were, they would tell a story. If you asked your mother, if you asked your neighbor, you asked the person who cut you off in traffic that you, you know, who, or, or, you know, what they thought of you. If you asked a coworker, an ex-wife, an ex-husband, an ex-girlfriend, an ex-boyfriend, everybody has a story. That story is true, but it's not the whole story of you as a human being. But we as human beings, when we are asked to explain who we are, we go back and we collect stories that were meaningful to us and we tell our once upon a time story to people. And we say, well, once upon a time, this happened in my life. And so what that did for me is it created this desire or need for me to do this other thing. So it's what we connect to. It's where we create, how we shape our personality and where we pull our purpose in life from. And some people say it's the traumas and it's not always a trauma that creates this. But the idea is when you understand your story deeply, really deeply, your why as to why you do the things you do, why, why you want to build the business that you want to build, at that point, you come to a clarity in your messaging that cuts through all the, should I do this and should I do that? And this person's running their business like this and this person's running their business like that. What if I should do that? It comes down to that deep connection to what you would call your purpose. And your purpose is shaped by the life experiences that you choose to be the story of your life. It's not all your stories, but it's what you've chosen. And there is a thread of connection that runs through all of those stories, that if you were to write down three or four stories that were meaningful in your life and said, once upon a time, Melissa Evans was a girl who, and I, cre I told a story, and that story would elicit a certain feeling in me. 
And as I wrote down two or three or four of these stories, I would find, if I looked at them, a connecting thread between all of them that would say to me, wow, that's important to me. This is one of the reasons I'm here on this planet. And once you connect to that, then connecting to the person that you're called to serve, your ideal client, becomes a lot easier. Because generally our ideal client, our ideal customer, is somebody who is either like us or someone that we love. Maybe it's a, ch- a girl who is like you when you were 10 years younger. Maybe it is a husband or a spouse or a mom that's made an impact on you. But understanding your story allows you to understand who you're called to serve. And once you learn that, your business really becomes unstoppable. You just have to create the marketing strategy that's going to take you there and make sure that anything that you are marketing is geared around that strategy. So I would challenge all of you guys in the group, and if you watch this in replay, hop into the comments and let me know and put a post up in the group. What is your? What is one of your... Um, once upon a time stories that you tell yourself about yourself and what does it teach you or inform you about how you're showing up in your business. So that's my message for this morning. Hope you guys have an amazing day. Stay beautiful, build a beautiful business that gives back and make an impact. We'll talk soon.